A warm namaste and a big hello to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this particular reading session which is meant for people who are pure hearted souls who are doing inner work and feel a sense of responsibility towards the planet. These people that I create content for, all of you people who resonate with it, you are selfless souls, very high vibrational souls. But when high vibrational souls also come to planet Earth, they get programmed and they get stuck into certain addiction patterns which are very unhealthy for them. Certain templates are customized for them for a reason so that they can learn to elevate their energy and come in their natural state without any fear. So gradually the programming has to go away and that is the part of the plan. So at this point in time, I am getting certain messages so let's find out what do we have today for the collective let's get started there are certain qualities that i'm being shown over a period of time you have become very optimistic there was probably a time when you were kind of dabbling you were sometimes anxious sometimes depressed because there was a lot of guilt and shame of the past that used to bother you that used to trouble you but now you have learned to face it and you have created this energy this energy in you you have transmuted some of those parts of you which were really unhealthy you have transmuted them and you have learned to see to look at things in a different way now you are not stuck with uh, orthodox or superstitious patterns and one interesting thing that i'm being shown today is that you have learned to celebrate life and you have learned to enjoy the show you are a person who has seen a lot and gone through a lot and you have got good experience about life and about people even though some of you may not be uh, age wise that old and I don't know what's old and young anymore because in the twin flame ascension journey, star seeds usually, I have noticed this myself, they don't age that fast because a lot of people on this journey, on the ascension journey, by birth, since birth, even though they get programmed into feeling certain way because of their emotional tendencies or because of their empathetic or sensitive nature, but there are still many things that do not form any layer on them. Like they don't believe in a lot of societal things. They don't believe in a lot of things that people follow religiously. They have to question everything. They like to question everything. They want to know why something is a certain way. So many a times they don't get programmed uh, via these uh, age patterns. So they don't age that fast. So they give a lot of inspiration to other people around them. A lot of people look at them and they go like, wow, this person is so amazing, so energetic. It's not that they don't have diseases or they don't fall sick. I mean, it is the mind that creates these problems because many a times they are looking to form a soul connection with people who are just mentally connected to them. Like this is not that mental. This is not the mental energy I'm talking about. I'm talking about the mind as the man, you know, so in the 3D world, what happens is that people are actually ruled by the ego. So what these people's mistake is that many times they look for the soul connection with people who have very high ego. So now you have learned to understand or decode the sneaky energy, the sneaky secretive energy that some people project, the People who you know are simply takers, they don't give, they don't give, they don't like to give to anyone, to anybody, they don't do anything for anyone. You have learned to recognize these people because, see, good and bad people are everywhere, everywhere, okay? Even those who are doing really good causes may not be that good. They could be having some kind of motive they could be having some kind of ulterior motive even while doing something which is supposedly for other people's benefit or welfare. Or, you know, even people who are in the field of energy, they may not be that 
cleanse themselves so you have learned like you have to be like a detective you are like a detective who has to decode these things because you are very small in number you are not that big in number this is a planet which has like 8 billion people and you are small in number you don't want to come in front you don't want to market yourself you don't believe in those things you don't believe in having followers or fans or you know people who worship you you're not in that zone you simply want to do your job and leave you know you're that type of a person and you've always been like that you do the job and you leave you don't like to take credit you don't talk about yourself as such so a lot of good qualities you have sometimes you're also overburdened because you have taken on a lot of responsibilities you feel overburdened because you are still trying to let go of the doership somehow i also notice one more thing that this type of overburdening of responsibilities or of other things has happened so that you can learn to reach to the finish line so it is not really causing you much harm like it's not harmful for you but sometimes yes you do feel you do feel bad you feel like why can't i be like normal people why can't i be like 3d people because you don't like to work in the way other people like to work you do enjoy your work but your style of working is very different and uh, there is one song which was given to me uh, just before the session began it's called lions by skip marley so few lines were given to me which says we are the lions we are the chosen we're going to shine out the dark we are the movement this generation you better know who we are who we are so i heard these lines and uh, i was actually guided to share it with this particular session we are the lions so actually you are the lions you are the chosen you're going to shine out the dark you are the movement this generation you better know who they are this generation they better know who you are up in the opposite way who they are so i'm also sensing that you think about eating healthy energy you like to eat food that heals you not food that can kill you you like to eat good energy now you're becoming more conscious of it more and more conscious of it you feel that food is literally everything if you take care of your food and your drinking habits and all these things life is going to be like so much better for you and uh, the other thing that i'm noticing is also that you have been wounded many times by many people because you have the nature of trusting people very easily you can trust just about anyone but uh, at that time i think you were not trained to trust via your intuition so your intuition is different energy and trusting via your programming is a different energy it's very good to be someone who can trust anyone or anything because that's the energy that actually attracts uh, good people in your life however there are two different ways of doing it one is via the ego and one is via the soul so the third eye the heal third eye so a lot of you already possess good intuition you already have uh, more you can say much more or much better working third eye and even other things but it's not like fully aligned you're still doing your inner work you're still working on yourself and i will once again recommend you all to work through your solar plexus chakra the third chakra from bottom from below the manipur chakra it is a chakra that can change your life chanting the sound of this chakra can change your life and uh, another thing i want to tell you is that a lot of billionaires know this a lot of people know this that everything is actually sound energy everything is a specific vibration you know if you work through that vibration you work through that sound it really helps because this is what creates confidence now you already have a lot of things going on for you because we all have a certain destiny we all have things that are pre-written for us so what we need is to succeed is confidence the less confidence we have the less things work out for us so you are almost there you are literally at the finish line very close to the finish line 
you are the chosen this is not being told to you because you want to feel superior but everywhere else you are getting a lot of negative energy so this place this place is your healing waterfall or you can say healing pool of water where you can just submerge yourself take a dip and step out cleansed you know so there is a lot of purging also that's been going on with you you have a very youthful energy very young energy very vibrant energy it's very attractive energy and you're also becoming very vigilant okay you're very vigilant so now what i'm being shown is that you are becoming more and more careful of what kind of people you help and what kind of people you hang out with because you have realized that some people are not supposed to be helped like you have learned it the tough way you have learned it the difficult way but you have learned this lesson that some people are simply not supposed to be helped because they are reaping their karma either they are reaping their karma or they are increasing their karma like they are doing certain activities that from the outside may look like they are doing something nice or they're doing something good or maybe they are the victim or maybe they are going through a lot and they're going to give you that picture multiple times they're going to show it to you or show it to other worldly people but that's not the case you know you might just get yourself wrapped up into someone else's karma or you just tried to be nice you just tried to be good you just tried to be helpful or you have you had like overflowing humanity overflowing love and understanding and patience but those people those people's energy is is not a match for you their karma is not the same like you by helping them or you by interfering them can probably take on to something maybe bad health maybe some kind of crisis comes upon you for a while not for too long for a little while just to make you understand that you need to listen to your gut and you need to listen to your intuition or maybe you need to not get emotionally involved with those people just look at their things if you are present in a place and you cannot go out of it and your heart or your mind or something is telling you to stay so you are staying there but during that time when you're staying there it would be really better to just watch just observe not react not respond not do anything you know just heal heal yourself and if those people give you confusion like some days they are nice to you some days they are not nice to you whatever it is you probably still have to just watch more observe more just respond not react to them not not entangle yourself in their their acts because they might have reaped a lot of karma or they might have a lot of karma that they have to clear out those people could be saying some really sensitive words or they could be expressing something very painful but that is their only way to go through that pain by going through that pain they can release karma they can they can repay what they have done in the past lives or maybe in the same life so you have to be careful of who you help and you have to protect yourself you have to learn to protect your energy and you have to learn to neutralize your karma so how can you protect your energy so maybe you have already done some things you have already helped some people sometimes some people don't ask for help directly they don't say hey i need your help but they're going to say a lot of sad things in front of you what they are going through how sad their life is how bad their experience is how much they're going through how much they're putting up with they're going to talk about those things but directly not ask for help and this is the time you can get trapped by them this is the time you can go like oh my god this person is in a lot of trouble i must do something about it and you start doing something so remember first thing people have to ask for help then only you should help them or it should be like a strong gut feeling you just feel that someone really needs you someone really needs someone is a good person and i think over a period of time you will figure this out if you still haven't then you will figure it out and if you already have then you are going to resonate very deeply with this particular session 
so now you must be figuring out how to protect yourself from these people's karma so the best way is to let go of the doership like you have to stop thinking that you are doing anything or or whatever you know you just have to think that source is doing everything you are simply the medium you don't have to take control of anything whatever happens the result good or bad you have to accept it you have to be like okay fine i mean this is how it's meant to be because whenever we do something whenever we take the control or the doership then what happens is that the karma also gets attached with us so in order to not get the karma attached to you like be neutral be more and more in the zero state you have to just be in the observation mode and you have to like always think in your head that i am not the doer i am just the watcher i am just the observer there are only two ways to actually get freedom from the cycle of life and death number one is by in hindi we have the word bhogta bhav by not being the doer by not being someone who's going through it by being simply an observer by being in drashtata bhav okay and another thing is by surrendering to source so these are the only two ways which is bhakti or devotion in both ways what is common is that the person does not take any onus of anything when you're not taking onus it doesn't mean you're not taking responsibility you become more careful you become more like vigilant of your own activities but you just keep letting it go and you just keep saying that i'm not doing it god is doing it so when god is doing it nothing comes on to me nothing comes on to you in that sense okay so one more thing that is very important and it's popping out in your energy field is that you have realized that you are not you were not taught how to recognize who to give your energy to like you were giving your energy to a lot of people and you were really giving your presence giving your time to a lot of people who who were not supposed to to be there around you like they were not i want to use the word worthy over here and i'll tell you why i'm going to use it it's not for superiority complex but it's because a lot of people have not done the work they have not done the inner work or they have karmically not ascended to that level that they should be hanging out with you but you have learned this one this lesson to the hard way i think from the very beginning the message was kind of very clear you are not supposed to share your time your presence your resources also even your resources to every tom dick and harry they don't deserve it they have not earned it and they are energetically not a match to you they are not a vibrational and energetic match to you so just because obviously as a child you did not learn the tools you do not have the tools how to figure out who should i hang out with and who i should not hang out with so you kind of lacked it but now you are actually learning it because yesterday's channeling not yesterday today morning i did it yesterday but i shared it in the morning you are also tired of people who give you false hopes and you have become more practical is also connected to this because you gave your time and presence to people who were giving you false hopes or they were showing you false love or they were showing you all kinds of dreams and they were not clear with you like if you are going to talk to them it's not organic you're not organically in communication or conversation with them it's not natural it feels a bit made up it feels a bit artificial so it has to be real it has to ooze out from your heart space like you have to be very comfortable with other people and you can only be comfortable with other people if you are comfortable with your own self you no longer want to be accessible to people who don't vibrationally match with you because you have also felt very strongly you have understood that the relationship any relationship is made by two people and if both people if two people want different things then too there is a very harmonious way of getting things done there is a very nice way of getting things done like you can talk about things you can discuss things like 
when you're a vibrational match to someone you'll have lots of commonality you will have lots and lots of similar ideals and goals and even though you would have a lot of commonality you would still sometimes be in a zone where you would be different you may not want the same things in life sometimes it can happen so usually when people are in ego state i'll tell you people who are in ego state and they walk all over you actually they also like you a lot they also know that you're amazing you know they also feel good things about you but their ego is far more bigger than their soul so when ego is very big they cannot take anything like they cannot take a joke they cannot take uh anything onto themselves because everything is taken very seriously especially if it's around their image the public image and the social image so people even in dating even in relationships why people want to date before marriage it's because they don't want their marriage to be broken because so many marriages ironically are breaking apart the people are very scared so now people have become smarter now they have tried these things you know like let me date somebody let me be uh there with someone but there there is an also an adverse effect of this which means that you'll have to give your energy to some people you'll have to step out and you have to make a lot of efforts it has to be very effortless it has to be very smooth it has to be like very natural and organic as i said then you would have a bonding from day 1 and that bonding will go on forever like you would not need so long to make decisions with each other everything would flow smoothly and you will not have any bitterness you'll not get angry unnecessarily you'll have a lot of understanding and patience uh with this person and the other person will also be the same way because as i just said that all relationships are give and take anybody who understands love is a giver because love is a one way traffic where you always want to give so if you are a giver and you are with another giver they will give to you and you will give to them there will be natural receiving they will think about you they will think about how they can make your life better how they can make you happier and you're going to think about them like how you can cheer them up or how you can stand by them these things matter more than anything else but of course you have realized that not everyone deserves your presence you also realize that you are your energy matters like your energy is is powerful you got powerful energy you know so this energy should go into the right things it should go into the good things or the truthful things more than right and wrong good and bad because all of that is contextual you feel that your energy should be going into honest things and truthful things and and all of this happens when you love yourself when you learn to love yourself when you realize that the first person you need to love is yourself because if you're not going to love yourself i don't think anyone else can love you and you're going to make yourself a priority first like first person priority is you or whatever you love to do if you're not very attached to yourself like your physical identity then another way to see it is maybe you like to do certain things naturally if you're able to do those things and you want to prioritize you want to do those things only and not the other worldly things that other people expect from you then too you are doing the right thing you know so you also have realized that you need to heal yourself like because you have uh, been with certain people and certain types of energies in the past sometimes you need to cleanse yourself from those things or sometimes you just need to journal you need to write down everything you need to put down everything or you need to like bring those people close your eyes go into deep meditation look at all those people who have trouble you or given you pain and while you're doing this if you mentally chant the solar plexus sound which is the ram sound if you slowly keep chanting that sound just sitting still not taking much burden or much stress if you do that then also you're going to dissolve those people and 
sooner or later you will go through a process which is called dissolution it can happen on a daily basis also every morning when you wake up or before you go to sleep you can spend like 15 20 minutes doing this like just sitting still and thinking about whatever happened in the day it really improves your health it really improves a lot of things i mean personally i feel in the field of energy uh because you are a natural healer some of you are healers you may not be doing this work the way i am doing but you could be simply a healer like you could be healing your house healing your friends you could be healing wherever you go you have this energy which is uplifting which uplifts other people which is very calming you know so in that sense also every healer goes through the process of going through a sickness going through a disease or going through some kind of mental tension and then fixing it out and then coming into pure proper energies and then figuring things out and passing it on to other people so this is also a process that you have realized and that's why all the more reasons that you cannot share your time and presence with everybody you cannot you just cannot you've become very practical you have now realized that your time on planet earth matters every single day matters so you'd rather do things that suit you and your energy type not just frivolously distribute your energy your shakti to other people because it's your shakti and god has given to you this shakti for a reason all right so this is where i'm going to close this channeling session you can take personal sessions with me and you can also get into therapy with me and get hand holding while you're doing other things because the way i work with people i don't want them to stop doing things because those things itself act as stimuli whether it's your job whether it's your family members whether it's anything that gives you triggers you need to be there in order to understand get the feedback you know and keep doing your inner work very silently and you can also get my book uh, in the name of love a journey of finding your ultimate soulmate all details whether it's the book or whether it's therapy or reading or whatever it is it's present in the description box the paypal link for people out of india is also present over there and those who are from india you can write to me at the sunamoon@gmail.com and you can ask for the paytm and gpay details you can convert from usd to inr some of you can of course ask for discount and it would depend on the reasons you give to me keep doing your inner work you're doing great your energy is very good collectively i can smell the energy that's like popping out and it's very much aligned and i will see you soon in another one one love peace out and jai shri ram